What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of House Flipper. As always, if you guys are enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like on the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. Today, we're going to be tackling job number four here with the new Pets DLC. So we'll click on our map of jobs. In the previous episode, we did a chance to change. We kind of held off on doing this larger house just because it looked quite a bit bigger than the other. But... We're going to be tackling more freedom here today. So Frida is considered a writing prodigy. After just a couple of months of hard work, she published her first book and it turned out to be an instant success. Unfortunately, a rapid rise up the ladder as a writer turned out to be quite a stressful situation for an introvert like her. Now, she desperately needs to find a place where she and her lovely iguana can find more peace. So we're going to go ahead and accept the job. I cannot wait to see these cutscenes, dude. I always love a good cutscene. Also, didn't really realize that this was on a river? On a lake? On some large body of water? Of inspiration has been hitting me pretty, cool. pretty hard lately. My creative spark feels kind of... <clears throat> damn, Excuse me, sorry. Out. Warm colors, fluffy blankets, and lots of cozy furniture. This is what I truly need. I always imagined myself in my skelly cutie in a lakeside house. Lakeside, there we go. And maybe even a small sauna. Somewhere I would be able to flourish as a writer. Or okay. perhaps put more time into working on my paintings. This might be the perfect moment for a change. I got a cool looking cellar there too. And my lovely Bo. Okay, Bo the Iguana. More freedom. Here we go, dude. I'm excited. I'm really excited about this one. This place looks absolutely insane. It also looks ridiculously filthy. Uh, I think the first thing we're going to do here... Oh, we actually get to tackle the yard on this one, too. That's dope. That's really dope. The first thing we're going to do is, of course, just get out our trusty, handy-dandy garden hose. And we're going to clean off at least just the front of this building for now. And we can go through and do the final touch-ups later. That already looks so much better. We've already got 61% of the dirt cleaned up. So let's just start making our way around the rest of the house. And we'll get the rest of the graffiti off of here. Oh, there's Hamburberg. Always love it when a good old Hamburberg makes an appearance, dude. That is fantastic. All right. So we've got quite a bit of dirt and just kind of questionable fluids on this back uh, back deck, back patio, whatever you want to call it. Get a little bit more graffiti up there. This place has definitely been abandoned for quite a while by the looks of things. So let's clean up the rest of this. And I think we are good. Do we need... Oh, that's paint! I thought that... Dude, I actually thought that was just like a moss growing on the side of the house. Okay, well, I think we've got that sorted... Let's go all the way around to the other side. Or can we get over there from here? Maybe if we do a little hardcore parkour? Oh, yeah, dude. No challenge. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They actually, like, let you onto the, the beach here. I was expecting this little, like, log wall to be our barrier. That's fantastic. Incredible. Okay, a little bit more graffiti right here. So we'll get that cleaned up. Anything else on the... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Quite a bit. Quite a bit still on the exterior here. And then parkour. Kind of funny because we did just do that. But we've got to get rid of that, unfortunately. It just can't stay like that. Dude, the cellar. Oh, another ladder. All right. I was expecting a staircase, but that's okay. I like a good ladder. So this is the cellar. Is that Hamburg again, dude? I don't want to start in the cellar. I don't want to start in the cellar, dude. Hamburg is just ruining everything for me. Let's do this like a normal person and go through the front door, which is broken. So we're just going to sell that thing immediately. Oh, wait. Maybe we shouldn't have done that. Now we have to go through the cellar or we could go around back, I guess. Let's just go around back. That is kind of funny. Forgot that the doors actually function that way now, which is excellent. Oh my god, dude. Look at all the trash in here. Definitely, definitely been abandoned for a while, to say the least. We'll just go through real quick and just 
continuously click on all the trash in here. There we go. That's like the main room uh, de-trashified. Do people say that? Is that, a, is that a thing? Got a pretty clean room over here for once. Okay, interior doors don't function the same as exterior doors, though. There we go. That one left the opening. That's good news. Let's get rid of all the random wine bottles in the bathroom. Kind of strange. We've got some broken up tile in here as well. Definitely going to have to address that. Dude, this is going to be a huge job. Oh, okay. Wow, that's a really cool staircase. This is going to be the way down into the cellar. We're not going to be going down there just yet. I think we might have missed a few rooms. Oh, no. Okay, never mind. This house is much smaller than I thought it was going to be. We're going to be doing something right there. Oh, that's, that's the front door that we got rid of. Okay, let's just go ahead and replace that. Ooh, that is a much nicer one anyways, dude. That looks really, really good. I don't know if it's going to match the, like, interior wood siding that they have. But I'm going to go ahead and place it down right here. And we'll construct it. Let's see if that looks... Actually, yeah, that looks really nice. Okay, big fan of that. Not a huge fan of the clipping on the, like, wood beams up there and stuff, but negligible so now that we have the first floor all cleaned up looking pretty good we're just gonna sell that furniture so we can actually make our way down into the cellar a little bit easier and now we've got to clean up even more trash dude what's with people that just leaving behind all this garbage all these like cardboard boxes we've got like wooden crates even I, I just don't understand. And it's every house. But with all the trash removed from down here now, we've got to get out our handy dandy mop once again and just go around and get all of this cleaned up, dude. There's just like stuff oozing from the walls too. It's really, really nasty. Tons of cobwebs too, I've noticed. I mean, not to mention Hamburg has been here just graffitiing the entire place up. Some of it, some of it looks good. Don't get me wrong. I, I can definitely appreciate some graffiti. But in a place like this, probably not necessary, you know? With both the cellar and the main floor now ready to go, we're going to make our way back outside so we can tackle this yard, dude. We've got a ton of weeds to pull out here. Can we sell these as well? Does that do anything for... We can't even do it. So we're just going to go around and hand pick all of these. We could also just mow them. But this is more realistic. Actually, I, I kind of like doing this more. It's more rewarding. As I'm pulling these little buggers out the ground here, I actually just had kind of an interesting idea for an addition to this game, which would be like a, like a weed be gone spray, right? Could be, could be kind of handy. And now with all the weeds gone, I was gonna start mowing, you guys, I really was. But we've still got to clean six windows and then over here, come to find out, she doesn't even want to keep the little cellar entrance. So we can just get rid of it entirely. That's pretty sweet. That is pretty sweet. Okay, that window was clean somehow. That one is also clean. There aren't too many windows here. Okay, here we go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave this in because I know there's a good handful of you guys that really, really like to watch me clean windows. So we're going to leave the entire thing in, all right? Uncut, unfiltered, unedited. Just nice and peaceful. Nice and peaceful. There we go. That's three out of ten. What? Didn't it say six? Maybe that was in the front of the yard and it's different back here or something. That's a very satisfying, very easy window to clean. Oh, all of these are that way too. Okay, we do have quite a few then. Here's the other ones. Here's the six. Dude, we haven't even done any of the windows that I initially, like, saw that we needed to do. There we go. That's one of six. So there really are just that many windows to this property. Got a big one in between two skinny boys right here. Shouldn't take too long to get those cleaned up. There we be. Oh, you can also open those, too. That's pretty cool. Let a bunch of, uh, let a bunch of air in. Maybe just the outdoor smells, whatever you're into. Got another big one surrounded by two skinny boys here. Kind of sounds bad, actually. I, sh I should just stop talking, probably. Probably a good idea. Oh, we've missed some dirt here or something. 
And right over there. There we go. All right. Now we've done it. Got a couple more windows to clean, you guys. And then we can start tackling this yard. Or I guess the, the rest of the yard since we've already pulled all those weeds. How many more we got here? Four more? Doable. Definitely doable. Let's try to speed run these last three. We're just going to do this as fast as possible. Missed a little corner up there. Okay, that was probably my slowest time. There we go. Little streak there in the middle. And the corner again. All right, let's do left to right then. That's the move. That is 100% the move. All right. All the windows are clean all the way around this place. So now we can start mowing. Since I included so much of the window cleaning, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut to when the lawn is mowed. It's not that interesting anyways, if I'm being honest. Part of me feels like it's almost more satisfying when you see the yard all overgrown and then it just cuts to it being completely freshly mowed. You guys, they're just, there's nothing like a freshly mowed lawn. All right, you just can't beat it. Well, you could, but that would be weird. So we're gonna go ahead and make our way inside and we've got to figure out where we want to start. While the house doesn't necessarily have very many rooms, it just has a few larger spaces. Actually, let's start in this bathroom because this tile is kind of driving me nuts. On the ceiling, we're gonna be painting that with a light cream. So we're gonna place down that paint can. And then we have, I believe these are wall tiles. Seems cool. Let's do like four, maybe five of those. Probably too much. That's probably overkill, actually. Then what else do we have? Oh, the floor tiles. That's a new pattern. Is this supposed to be hardwood in the bathroom? Or is it like, it's probably the tile stuff. Probably the tile that looks like hardwood, but it's actually not. All right, so now that we've got that done, Let's go ahead and paint the ceiling, dude. I love the new ceiling painting. It's just, it's good. I don't know what else I can say about it. They really, they really thought this through. I like that you can do large patches as well as smaller detailed patches if you wanted to. You could do like a checkerboard ceiling now. I can't imagine too many rooms would look good with that, but it is at least possible. So we're done with the paint. Let's switch to tiling. And let's just get after it. I think we just have to do the entire room here. Okay, I kind of struggled tiling around these installations here. Oh, we actually have to get a few of these unscrewed anyways. But um, this place looks awesome, dude. And by this place, I mean this bathroom. Because that's all we've done so far. Oh, got to do the right side first. Okay, very important. Very important. And then lastly, we just have a sink plumbing and we are good. Oh, and then we've got the toilet right there. Okay, so we've got a radiator above. Oh, a towel radiator. That makes sense. Hanging above the toilet. All right, so that's going to wrap it up for this room for now. We'll uh, we'll go through and do the furnishing here a little while later on. So what do we have to do in, like, the front entryway? We've got a couple of floor panels here as well. Ooh, the tile. Maybe. Could also just be hardwood floor. Who knows? I'm not so sure that I'm sold on just all of the hardwood in here, but it is supposed to be like a cozy cottage type feel, so I guess I can appreciate it a little bit. And then in here, dude, same thing. We got the exact same floor going in. Whoops. A little misclick there. No, no worries. No worries. All the way to the end. All right, perfect. Now in here, again, we have more objects that we need to purchase. So let's move into probably the kitchen and living room. I would assume. I have no idea. More of the same floor. I kind of said that as if I don't really care for this floor panel. And that couldn't be further from the truth. It's actually probably one of my new favorites, if I'm being honest. So now that we've got everything basically to the point up here where all we have to do is buy objects, buy furniture and whatnot. Oh, and then we've got a couple of mountable devices but i want to go back down into the cellar so we can take a look at what we need to do down here oh we're building walls that's kind of nice that they already sort of have it mapped out on the floor tiles and then we're also destroying a few walls as well so i think it's gonna be this one and this one and whoops hang on hang on this one there we go. I was I was looking at the mini-map, not actually looking at what wall I was destroying. There we go. 
And then here we're taking out that, that, this one, and then I think these three. There we be. All right, just a much larger opening. Makes sense. That's probably staying, though. Yeah, that is probably staying. We're going to be filling in those little spots right there with a few additional lintels. That's looking nice. All right, and then there's something else right here. Oh, that's going to be more lintels. Okay, I've got you. Or actually, hang on a minute. No, it's not either. That, yeah, that's meant to be a full-size wall. Whoops. Kind of, uh, kind of missed that, but that's all right. We're going to get those three placed in there. Perfect. Now we're going to have some more lentils there. That's going to go all the way out to here. So we'll just scroll wheel it real quick. Fill it all in. Over here, we just have two full-size walls. Going to be some lentils in between there as well. Fill that whole thing in. All right. Now all we have left is this little bit here. I wonder what we're going to be doing in these rooms. Must be something for the iguana, I would assume. What was his name? Bo? Kind of a cool name for an iguana, I suppose. And three more right here. Whoops. Almost missed the last one, dude. I was on a hot streak. There we go. Lentils up there. Lentils. Wait, right there. And then just a few more over here. Perfect, dude. All right. Wall construction in the basement now. No longer a cellar because we kind of got rid of this thing. Oh, speaking of which, what are we going to do in here, dude? Is she going to like transform that into a closet maybe? Looks like she's wanting to do more of the same brick that's already down here. Just on sort of like the exterior of the interior rooms that we've now created. So I'm just going to get a whole bunch of these placed down. We're going to get right after it. Okay, unsurprisingly, went a bit overkill on the panels. But there we go. That's looking good. Let's see what this room needs. More. More of those panels. So I probably could have kept the ones that I just sold. Big whoops on that. Let's do, I would think, three in there over here. Same thing yet again. Probably three in that room as well. And then back in here. Okay, she is switching it up. Definitely switching it up here. I think this is going to be a bathroom by the looks of things. And then back in here. Totally different. Okay, the brick is complete in these other rooms here. Now... We're actually going to move on to what I'm thinking is going to be the bathroom. I actually have no idea. These are going to be wall tiles. Okay. Some more tiling. That's always fun, right? Let's just place down a few of those. And then we got the same floor yet again. That's good. Oh, dude, wait. Are we just doing this floor? We're just sticking with, like, the concrete tile out there? Okay. Hey, it's her house, not mine, right? Her house, not mine. Let's fill in the door gaps right there. Perfect. And then is there no ceiling tile on this one? Maybe that's this other room. Yeah, here we go. So we have what we've been using for the floor, but this time on the ceiling. Okay, that's a very different look. That is a very different look. It's like all the other rooms, we just took them and flipped them upside down. That's, that's basically what we've got going on in here now. Strange, but maybe it'll grow on us. Oh, no. Oh, no, dude. I just want to talk to her about this design decision. I I can't imagine this is going to look all that great. It's okay. It, it's okay, but man, that's, that's a lot of wood. That's a lot of brick. I guess we are about to break it up a whole bunch with the zebra panels. So we're going to get these going around the entire room as well. And now that's just even more wood, you guys. I don't know what this lady's thinking, dude. She's smoking something. All right, but I think that is all we needed to do. Apart from this door. Where's the door? It says cell door. Where? Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, that's just going to effectively delete that little cellar room. All right, I have no idea why it wasn't highlighting or anything, but I think we've 
Got it done. Okay, now we just have to do a little bit more tiling, and then I think we'll be ready to move back upstairs. Oh, this tile? It looks better in small square form than actually like full size up on the wall. Yikes. See, I could do paneling all day long, dude. All day long, like the, the zebra wood in here or even the bricks out here. But tiling just takes quite a bit longer. So not, not my favorite. Definitely not my favorite. Let's just make sure we've got everything done in all those rooms so we can make our way back upstairs and start actually furnishing this place. We're gonna start in the room that we started in on the main floor, that being the bathroom. So we've gotta get ourselves a mountable oval tub, first and first mostly. We're gonna place this bad boy down over here in the corner. Thankfully, they've already had all the installations, uh, you know, all set up. So all we have to do is quite literally just drop the stuff down, do a couple of uh, screws, I almost said do a couple of screwing, and that is really bad. That's not what we're doing right here. But all we have is just a little bit of plumbing work, and we will be done in no time. It's been a long time, actually, since we've assembled a bathtub. Got a couple of nuts there. And then what do we do next? Oh, right, the outside cover. Perfect. Okay, one tub down. A couple more things to go. Ooh, excellent choice here, Frida. Excellent choice. What we have here, ladies and gents, is none other than the toilet flatty. Not fatty, but I always said fatty, and I still tend to say fatty. Not by accident anymore. It's, it's more on purpose. But here we have a shower we can choose between a few different configurations. What, um... What corner are we going in? This corner over here? Okay. So I think we need to be using this one, hopefully. We'll get that squeezed into this corner over here. The installation just disappeared. We just screwed that into nothing. But there we go. Got ourselves a shower. Looking good. Next up, we need a sink. Got a nice sink with a built-in cabinet. This is actually a new piece as well. That is gonna go roughly right in the center of that wall. Oh, we also get to assemble this too. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, I have to be really, really careful not to touch the valves. I accidentally already did. I accidentally already did, but it's okay. I don't see any leaks just yet. We've done it, ladies and gentlemen. That's like the first sink in a long time that we've installed that didn't leak. So that's, that's great news. Now we have a towel radiator that's going to go quite literally right above the toilet. The toilet flatty, not fatty. Oh, first leak. Our very first leak. I don't know what I did wrong there, I guess, but it's a good thing we always carry around a mop, right? Just in our, just in our back pocket, just whipping out a mop like it's nothing. Okay, that's going to do it for a good bulk of this. Let's move on to the next room, I think. Actually, should we... Let's get the door. Does it have a door in here anywhere? Sure does. What the heck? Let's just let's just finish the room, right? That probably makes the most sense. That way we don't have to keep coming back to things. Okay, so we've got a light switch. Now we need a light... Ooh, solid choice again, Frida. A good old classic ceiling titty. Everybody's seen them. Everybody knows what they are, but only a few of us actually know what they're called. Good old ceiling titty. All right, what's next? What else we got here? A mirror. I'm actually going to use the dark wood for that. Maybe not that color, though. I think our door is the coarse dark oak, if I remember right. So I think that's a better fit for our mirror up there. See what else we got in here. Okay, this stuff I'm just going to leave default because I'm not going to help her come up with a with a color scheme, dude. This is, this is her bathroom. That probably makes the most sense over there. Let's get another. We've got a hand towel. Okay, we've got some, some blue or some turquoise, I guess. Kind of matching. That's looking good. And then we need a trash bin, of course. Let's put that over in this corner. Perfect. We've got a laundry basket. We're going to leave that in wicker. And I think I'm just going to... Put that over here, I suppose. It probably doesn't really matter, does it? And the last thing we have here is a rug. And that is the bathroom complete. That actually looks really nice. It really does. Okay, right across the hall to the next room. 
I think this is going to be a bedroom. So we're, of course, going to start with the bed. That looks really ugly. Not a huge fan of the bedspread. But we're going to just roll with it. Oh, it's made out of pallets? That's actually really cool. Dude, talk about a unique bed frame. And it probably costs next to nothing to actually construct that. That's really, really cool. Very, very cool. Okay, so we have two of these bedside tables. We'll, of course, do one over there. The other on the opposite side. Perfect. And then next, always got to have some lamps. Always got to have some bedside table lamps. You know it. All right, let's get those clicked on, too, so we can get a little bit more light in here. The amount of, like, ambiance that the light helps create here is is really cool. Really, really cool. Like, I'm talking about not the lamps, but the lights, like, on the bed frame. We're going to be installing a brand spanking new door, of course. Hopefully, I have that opening the correct way. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I tried to do the same thing over here in the bathroom, just make sure it opened up against, like, an empty wall. I like to do that. Only with the doors where it makes sense. Kind of looks like you can lock and unlock these doors from either side, so don't have to get super realistic there. Oh no, the Woody wardrobe. The Woody wardrobe is back, you guys. We've got to choose the coarse dark oak wood again. This thing's pretty large, so I'm just gonna chuck it over there in that corner. It's, it's a lot of wood, you guys. There is so much wood in this house. The double chest of drawers here, I'm just going to put right at the foot of the bed in case she wants a TV. No. Okay. Missed opportunity there, but we won't hold it against her. We also have to fit this in here somehow. Dude, where does she expect us to put this thing? Also, what color do we do? Maybe white? None of these woods are going to match. I went ahead and moved the woody wardrobe out from the corner just slightly, so we'd actually have enough room to place down this behemoth i went with all black on that hopefully it ends up looking all right when all is said and done white probably would have been a good choice as well and actually this setup how it is might actually look okay i'm not super crazy about the pattern i think it's clashing with the bedspread pretty terribly but that's all right the devs really know how to price their ceiling fans if you know what i mean right 69 had to throw in a 69 joke. Okay, that's not exactly center. I think that looks quite a bit better. Let's hit the lights to see how that looks. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this so far. We've also got these Decora wall lamps. So I'm just going to put these on either side of the Woody wardrobe. I think this one's actually a bit too high. Let's go ahead and bring that down slightly. That looks better. That looks better. Ooh, and with the lights on, dude, that does a lot. That does a lot for the space. All right, let's keep on trucking here. I think the last of it is really just going to be like decorational stuff. Oh, wait, this is kind of unique. We've got a, a hanging ceiling swing. Tell you the truth, I don't exactly know where she was planning on putting that because no matter what, you're not going to be swinging very big in here like you're gonna be hitting stuff before too long so it's probably just a, a decorative thing and then all the rest of the stuff is purely decorational so i'm just gonna go ahead and knock this out all right after doing a little bit more additional decorating to this room we now have one killer master bedroom you guys i was kind of torn on placing the sunflower painting above the chest of drawers or above the headboard i just think we have like too much going on on this side of the room so i decided to put it over there other than that though all the other design decisions that i had to make were really really easy so with that being said that is a wrap on that room now we need to try to tackle this main entryway we're going to start things off real simple with a light switch i'm just going to place that right there seems like a pretty good spot if you ask me oh okay we're going to be doing three of the hanging twine lamps right here so I'm going to try to keep these as center in the middle of the ceiling as I possibly can. And we're just going to bring three of them out like so. Seems like pretty good spacing. Let's see with the lights on. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, that is perfect. All right, moving on from the lighting, we have a sort of like hanger. As soon as you walk in the door, you can hang up your coats, hang up your shoes, 
whatever people hang up when they enter in their house, you know? We also have a full-size body mirror. Okay. I don't know why you would need this in your front entryway. Maybe just to check yourself out before you actually head off. Let's put that over here, kind of at an angle, maybe? But then it's gonna, I don't know, then it's gonna get in the way of the light switch. I'm not super crazy about that placement. I'm gonna be 100% real with you guys, but we're gonna leave it for right now. We can always move it if we feel like we need to. So we need another similar wood, but we can't. There just isn't one available for this set. So let's do black wood, right? That's kind of like what we did in the bedroom after all. So I feel like that'll work out just fine. Where do we put this? Maybe here? In between the downstairs and the, the bathroom, I suppose? We've got a... Oh, that's actually kind of cute. Some flowers and a little watering can. I'm going to put that right up here. Kind of tilt it a little bit so it doesn't look, you know, perfectly placed on the center of that thing. We also have a few candles. We don't have anywhere to put those just yet, so I'm going to hold off. Ooh, a cuckoo clock. That's pretty sick as well. I'm going to place down this juca plant, I think is how you pronounce that, right next to the, the body mirror, because I'm kind of trying to justify my decision to put it over in that corner. I think that helps it a tiny bit. After sprinkling in a few smaller paintings up on the wall and finally placing down those candles, literally the only place that we could put them, I think we're finally finished with the main entryway or the, the main corridor. I guess you could call it. Dude, we are just slowly but surely making our way through this property. We've got two more rooms upstairs, and then we have like three or four rooms, maybe even five rooms, down in the uh, former cellar. Now just a regular old basement. So let's start with this room, and then we'll save the biggest room for last. We're going to start things off with a sliding glass door inside, which is interesting. Maybe this is going to be like a Four Seasons room, I think is what people call these. Almost like a screened-in porch, but there's no screens, just windows and, like, no AC or anything out here. I, it's it's kind of common. Judging by these bookshelf cupboard things and the fact that our next object to place is a desk, I'm thinking this is going to be, like, a Four Seasons office type area. So I'm just going to put the two cupboards there. Let's grab this desk. Oh, thank God. We have the coarse dark oak, dude. It's been so challenging not having that wood available. Oh, we don't, again, for just the tabletop. So that I'm going to do in a black wood yet again. Never mind, I'm just blind. It's right there. We're good. Oh my god, I completely forgot about the whole storyline behind this property. She's a writer, so of course it would make sense for her to have like her own dedicated writing space, which is probably exactly what this is. All right, I know I kind of glossed over this room. That's mainly because I'm actually trying to get this property completed today, but also because there just weren't very many like large objects that needed placed down in here. And after we got the cupboards, dude, it was like, it was a no brainer. I knew exactly what this room was gonna look like. She insisted on having six of these, I guess they're candles in a case. I don't know why you need to keep a candle in a case like it's going to hurt somebody, but it looks cool, I guess. Moving right along into what I can only assume is going to be the kitchen and family room. I think all we have to do is just start with some cabinets and we can kind of go from there. I like to get these all laid out first before I start figuring out like uh, a configuration, you know what I'm saying? Judging by these three bar stools over here, that's kind of leading me to believe that she would like us to create a configuration where she can actually use those. And I just, I got nothing, dude. This is a lot of counter space and a lot of room, but it's an odd shape room. I just, I can't figure out where to even begin. When we first arrived at this property, this little area kind of looked like it used to be the kitchen because of the tile that was there previously. So now that that's all ripped out, we kind of just have a clean slate. I'm going to start by putting this sink over here in the center of that big window. I think that looks really, really nice. And then I'm going to see if we can't create a bar top area like right in between these two columns. I think it'll work. We'll see. One eternity later. Okay, guys, this is what I got for the kitchen. It could be exactly what she wanted. It could be completely opposite of what she wanted. But I think it actually ended up turning out okay. 
The only thing I dislike about it is how there isn't technically a bar countertop to this bar, I guess, for lack of better words. It wasn't until I completed the entire kitchen that Frida let me know she would also like a bunch of living room furniture as well. Starting off with the Iguana's Terrarium. We have not seen one of these just yet. Got a bunch of, like, leaves and stuff doing things that leaves do inside of there. $1,500, and it's massive! Oh my god, does it fit over here? Please tell me it fits here perfectly. Oh, come on, hang on, is it a little too deep? Okay, turns out I had my light switch connected to that wall, so I just quickly moved it over here, not a huge deal. But now we can actually fit the entire thing. Oh my god! Good lord, dude. Can we do anything with this, though? You know, Bo's not even here right now. I don't even know why I'm looking through this. He's he's in a Motel 8 somewhere with his owner, just having a good old time while we're stuck here doing all the work. So let's move into the TV cabinet. I'm just going to leave that as the default colorway. That is going to go right over here. And then what else do we need? Some speakers. Okay. Skipping the old couch route. I like this. I like where this is going. I'm going to put that at a slight angle right there. We'll do another one. Same thing. Slight angle right there. Going to throw down a little coffee table in the center. And then, okay, here's going to be the dining room stuff. So let's change this to that same wood we've been using. The coarse dark oak. I think that's going to look the best. And then this, I think I'm actually going to rotate this way. Actually, because we don't have a whole lot of space. The very last thing that we need to add to this space is going to be the TV. The dining room really did kind of turn out a little cramped feeling. And I, I would have liked maybe another light to use in here. But all in all, I think it looks pretty dang good. I still can't get over this terrarium, dude. That thing is just massive. So, the main floor, the upstairs, is complete. Let's go downstairs. We can start working our magic. Did it say anything up here? Oh, it did. It did. We've got to get some windows, it looks like. We're going to be placing one right here. Break that out and install the winder. And then we've got another one. Same sort of color scheme that we've been using throughout this house as well. There we go. All right, now we need a light switch and a lamp. And then that's a wrap. They really made this room look so much better. Just adding two windows and a light. It looks phenomenal. But now we're going to head down into the basement, the former cellar. And it uh, looks like we just have a light switch down here as well. And then three questionable light choices. I'm not a super huge fan of these. But I mean, since it's the basement, it might end up looking okay. We're going to do one right here. One right there, and then one right there. That's hopefully good enough. Let's see how much light they output. That looks pretty good. Yeah, okay, I'm happy with that. So that's it for this room, for now. We'll see how things go. Right here, we need a new door. We're actually just going to be using a doorway. We're going to match the exact same wood type that we have all throughout the upstairs as well. And slide that thing into position. That looks nice, dude. Very, very nice. Now, in here, she'd just like four of these garage shelves. Probably going to be like her storage room. Sort of a, a makeshift storage room here. Strange to not have a door to your storage room, though. Granted, she doesn't have anything loud in here, like no loud water heaters or anything. Most storage rooms, I feel like, have like all your house things, house utilities contained within it. But we've got two fluorescent lights. These are going to be the wall mounting ones. So I'm just going to put one up there, one over there. We'll do a light switch dead center in this wall. And there we be. Looking pretty good for a storage room, if I, if I do say so myself. And over here, another little archway. Change the wood type. Get that thing slid into position. Right about there. Perfect. Here we go, dude. We've got the washer. That's going to go over here in the corner. And now she would like us to get an actual washing machine. Makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, can we not? 
Can we not do this here? Did I put it... I put it too close to the wall, didn't I? Every time. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Hang on. Do we just need to unscrew it? That's exactly what we needed to do. Ooh, it's been... It's been a minute, you guys, since we did any sort of washer install. I'm gonna be a bit rusty at this one, I think. Definitely not a, uh, a speed run, to say the least. And then this happens? Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. I was stuck there for just a split second. I was trying to figure out where I put those bolts. Those pesky bolts. But we've got her sorted. Get that screwed into the wall. Tighten that little collar right there. Shove that thing into the wall. And Bob's your uncle. We've got a nice washing machine. Next, she needs some steel shelves in here. Probably to store clothes, towels, anything you would wash. We've got two more fluorescent lights. Again, I'm just going to do one up there. And then one over here. And lastly, we have a single light switch. They're making this basement like real easy on us. I was thinking it was going to be this whole ordeal, but we've got a laundry room, we've got a store room, and then back in here, I don't know what this is. Okay, I do know what this is going to be. A sauna, ladies and gents. A big old heckin' sauna. Let's put these doors in, though, before we do anything else. Passing through this new sliding glass door, you're like, all right, that's cool. It's a sauna. Big whoop. But then she's got an attached bathroom to her sauna after you're done getting all sweaty and hot and bothered or whatever happens in a sauna i guess you can come in here and uh shake a tower right as far as the bathroom goes she's got great taste yet again we're gonna be throwing in a good old-fashioned ceiling today and then now we need a light switch so we can actually get that sucker turned on there we go oh dude we've got like a concrete ceiling in here too i didn't even really pay any attention to that. Next, we're gonna get the toilet installed. This is a very, very interesting toilet design. I can't say I've ever seen one like this in real life, but I have no idea why it looks so dang weird. But let's get the towel radiator placed just above that. We've just got to do the same install that we did for the upstairs bathroom. Hopefully, oh, I was gonna say, hopefully no leaks this time. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Maybe I have to do the bottom fitting before the top. I'm not really sure. Next up, the mountable shower. This is like the most basic shower you can possibly purchase. But that doesn't mean it's going to look bad, right? We've got to do the little legs on the base here. Get that flipped over. Now we can do a little bit of the plumbing underneath this tray. And then fit that into the wall. Grab the tube, shove that into the wall. All right, we're looking good here, ladies and gents. Minus the leak, dude. What's with the leaks? For real. Okay, we've got two little nuts on the back. And then, oh, I remember this shower now. The reason I stopped using it isn't because it doesn't look nice or anything like that. But it's because of the amount of time it takes to install this thing is kind of crazy. Compared to all the other shower options out there, like, we're still going, you guys. Still going. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We've got to do... We've got to do these top hinges as well. Two little screws in both of those. And now we're done. With the base plate on, we are finished. Let's clean up our little mess there. All right. That's looking pretty solid. Next up, we have the old-fashioned sink. I'm going to see if we can't change that wood type maybe to something a little bit nicer. To help keep things simple, we're just going to go with a nice... Classic looking black cabinet. Should be fine. We'll see if I can install this sink now without any leaks whatsoever. Oh, we're looking good. We're looking great, you guys. Legendary. That never happens. Actually never happens. Okay, now we've got another one of these mirrors. And we're going to go ahead and change the wood to match. There we go. That's looking nice. Get that put up there. What else we got left? A couple little, like, piddly decoration things. We'll get our towel hung up over there. We've also got a furry rug. That's going to go right in front of this sink if it'll let us. It's not going to be perfect because of the wall. 
I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna fix it, you guys. I'm I'm not even gonna adjust it. We only have two more objects that need to be placed down in the bathroom, that being the toilet paper holder and also the towel holder. This wall over here is a bit boring, in my opinion. We probably could add a painting to that or something, but this is exactly what she's after, so I think it'll work just fine. Now we get to move into the massive sauna back here. I think if we choose the cedar wood, I remember using the zebra wood panels in the past, and I think cedar matches that pretty dang well. So we're going to run with this, try to find a, a decent enough configuration for these benches. Truthfully, this doesn't look that bad, but it also doesn't look that great either. In my opinion, anyways, as you guys can probably tell, I really struggled to try to find a permanent home for these four final benches right there. I tried to put them up along the backside here, like stacked on top of the others, and it just looked super weird. So I think the island approach is a bit more appropriate, but that is the sauna, ladies and gents. And I think that's this house. I think that's the entire property done. Let's just quickly comb through these rooms just to make sure we didn't miss anything. Oh, hang on. I think I figured out what's left. The terrace, dude. The little back patio area. We've got a ton of stuff to do here, starting with a brand spanking new deck. So we're gonna get this stretched from corner to corner, all the way over here. That's probably gonna place some in the house if we're not careful. So I'm just gonna do that. And we'll do a small little sliver section right there. We're up to 57% of the way complete. Let's do this little bit right here. And finish her off, I think, with just that. Perfect. Okay, now we only need 19 objects out here. How hard could that be, right? It's going to be like lounging chairs and, and couches and stuff. Let's start by putting this light switch in. I know, dude, starting with the light switch riveting content here but we're gonna place that down so that these little lights can start to go in i'm gonna place one here i'm gonna do one here and i'm gonna do one here is that what we're supposed to be doing probably not but it might end up looking okay i'm gonna put this like hanging chair thing clear out here in the corner just so you have magnificent views of that little lake right there, dude. That's looking amazing. Let's grab this couch. Default coloring is probably fine. We're gonna be walking a little bit slower though, cause this thing is heavy. Let me tell ya. We're gonna place this right in front of the kitchen window, if it will let me. There we be. And then over here, what do we have left, I guess? Oh, we've got a little dining set. It's going to be really difficult, actually, to get around this, so maybe not. Maybe we do, like, the lounge chairs there. Yeah, I definitely think the table placement over here is much, much more fitting. Kind of sketch, not going to lie. Kind of super way sketch. Not having a railing around this deck whatsoever. Hopefully, her lovely iguana doesn't um, just leap into the lake. That would not be ideal. Last thing we have here are these two lounge chairs. I'm gonna put these roughly a 45 degree angle. Oh, our budget will run out soon. You don't say. We're just gonna place those right there. Lake life living. And then we have a few little wall lamps as well. Okay, no idea where I'm gonna put these, but I will find a spot. Since our wall space is a bit more limited for exterior lights, I decided to move one of those hanging lamps just over above the couch right there, I think that looks pretty solid. And that way we can, you know, actually have a spot for all of the exterior lights. This bad boy is gonna go somewhere. Where do we put this? Maybe in the center of this table? Sure. That looks pretty nice. And now we have some tall lanterns. Okay, they are pretty tall. I'm gonna place one of these right there. And we'll do the other one in that corner. Just a little bit of additional decoration, I suppose. This place looks incredible, you guys. And everything is officially done. So we are good to head out. Wow, this took a tremendous amount of time. Just as long as I expected, though. So it's it's not anything too crazy. But let's go ahead and complete the job for $34,000.
Good God, dude. If we were hurting for cash, that would be an insane income. We're not, though. We have like $2.1 million or something ridiculous. Now we get to take a look at these lovely, lovely cutscenes. Wait, these aren't cutscenes. Are they? It's before and after pics. Doesn't really count. Ooh, thumbnail. Thumbnail right there, dudes and dudettes. You heard it here first. But of course, now that we're back at home, I think that's where we're going to wind down this episode at for today. So once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.